Hey guys, welcome back to Video Game Bros, and uh, we're going to kick off with the first Decepticon chapter of Transformers Fall of Cybertron, uh, Death from Above with Vortex. And as, as we've said previously, this is going to be a cinematic playthrough, so we're playing through on easy just for the story. Uh, talking about Transformers and drinking Dr. Pepper, I guess. away my energon don't you mean our energon starscream oh of course onslaught our energon that idiot's shockwave allowed the autobots to steal every last drop luckily i have devised a plan to steal it back you mean we <sighs> very well onslaught you explain the plan combaticons listen up we need to divert the transport off the main road and into a sky ambush led by Starscream. We will accomplish this by destroying the bridge in this sector. Swindle, I want you to patrol the area to deal with any Autobot scouts who would give us away. You bet. Blast off, Vortex. You'll need to clear a shortcut through this canyon to the bridge. Sounds simple enough. Brawl will follow in a dropship and blast the supports to bring the bridge down. I like blasted stuff. Once the transport changes course, we will join Starscream's ambush and reclaim what's ours. Remember, we have limited time and energon to pull this off. Make it happen. Yes, make it happen, Combaticons. Well, I'm inspired. Let's hit it, Vortex. After you, Blastoff. <laughs> Alrighty, so yeah, we're playing as uh, Vortex from the Combaticons right now. And that was one of the big draw cards of this game when it was announced. Um, it was announced fairly early on that um, Bruticus would be playable in this game, which was, yeah, friggin' awesome. I always liked the Combaticons more so than the, uh, the Constructicons or any of the other Gestalt teams from G1. I always thought they were kind of more, more suited to the Decepticon cores, you know, their military, military vehicles and... Yeah, I always thought that the Constructicons were a really weird choice for being in the Decepticons, because, you know, you'd, you'd think that they would create stuff, not destroy stuff, but, you know. But yeah, the flying in this game is phenomenal. It just feels really cool. The Autobots must know we're coming. They keep getting in our way. Stop right there, Decepticreeps. Keep your hands where we can see them. Hey, Vortex, use your shockwave now! Boom. Scrap! They're trying to cut us off from the transport. Move it, blast off. Do not lose that transport. Gonna be tight! Vortex, we're running out of time. Get to that bridge now! I'm working on it! We'll work faster. We need to bring... Detecting Vortex. Alright, we've got our right cannon again, so we should be good to go. And, uh, 
Vortex's shockwave ability is one of the coolest things about this uh, playing as him. And for the very first time uh, in this series, uh, in this in this game, the uh, level is very vertical. Boom! You interrupted me, you bastard. Pull the lever. Opens the door. And hopefully my shockwave will be recharged enough for me to do it as soon as we get in. Boom! Couple of Autobots, but we don't really need to take care of them. We'll put the debt pack on, back away. And shockwave! The transport is equipped with heavy anti-aircraft guns! Hear that, Starscream? Do not attack from the air! Vortex is so much fun to play as. One thing that I didn't really like about this campaign is that it switches your perspective from um, playing as the Autobots to the Decepticons at a really strange point. Because up until now, you've been uh, you've been working with the Autobots to you know help them get off Cybertron, and then suddenly you're thrown into the mix of um, wanting to stop what you've been working six chapters to achieve, and it's just really. A really, really strange narrative choice to have the split at that particular moment. But yeah, one of the um, when I when I first played through this game, I thought it was a really weird shift of the uh, storylines from Autobot to Decepticon in that particular section. Because you know, I didn't, it, I, I really didn't want to be destroying this bridge because I'm just like, I've just worked six chapters on getting this Energon, and now we can leave Cybertron finally, and now the game throws me into a situation where I need to stop. Or, like, you know, 
go against all of the hard work that I've done in the chapters beforehand. And I didn't really like it the first time I played it, but, you know, that's that's just the, the way the story goes. I guess they don't really want you to pick sides between the Autobots and the Decepticons. E even though, you know, my alignment is kind of always with... Uh, depends on, 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 the, on, the, on the series, I guess, but in this one, you know, I'm firmly in the Autobot side of, of, um, side of things. I want them to be able to escape from Cybertron and, you know, save their, save themselves from the destruction of the planet and all that jazz. Um, and in this continuity, it kind of just seems like the Decepticons want to fuck shit up because Megatron's a crazy bastard. And with this explosion, this is where we're going to leave it uh, for this episode. We'll see you all for the next one. Get up there, Vortex!